Hi, everybody, wherever you may be. My name's Larry. My call sign is Kilo 7 Hotel November. I'd like to welcome you to a very special edition. This is Ham Radio Live. Now, this is a trip down memory lane. For older hams, there's going to be a lot of old memories here. Times from before the Iron Curtain to times when we had the Iron Curtain, and these stations, for the most part, are gone. Yeah, many of them are long gone. See, shortwave used to be the way that people would find out what news was around the world. In fact, most radio sets back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, they were they had a lot of cathedral sets. Those were the ones that stand on the floor. If you've ever seen the movie A Christmas Story, when Ralphie and his little brother Randy sit by the radio listening to Little Orphan Annie, that's a cathedral radio. Well, on those radios and many others, they had the short wave bands. That was so people could hear the news from around the world. You could also hear music and all kinds of little tidbits from places far away. I hope that this special edition of Ham Radio Live will teach some young hams about what it was like back in the day when we had the Cold War. And for the older people that remember these days, maybe a few smiles and maybe some memories. There's some old, well, not really jingles, but more introductions to the way the shortwave broadcasts used to begin. And for the most part, many of these stations are now, unfortunately, long gone. We'll start with one now from what was called Radio Berlin. Hi, Larry. Good to see you. There's Alpha Echo Zero, Juliet Zulu. Good to see you. Welcome to the show, my friend. This one is a special one. This first clip is from Radio Berlin. Now, from all of these different, what they really are is air checks, I'll have a description below with a link so you can see all of the shows in their entirety. I can only take just a little bit of each one. So first, this is Radio Berlin from during the Cold War. Enjoy, my friends. They would always start out with music like this before they would start to speak. Most stations began broadcasts when they would sign on in this same way. That newscast comes to you from Radio Berlin International, the voice of the German Democratic Republic. The General Secretary of the Women's International Democratic Federation, Miriam Vire Tuominen, has demanded the immediate quashing of the death sentences against 14 black South Africans. The 14, who belong to the group of the Uppington 25, should be released immediately and unconditionally, like all other political prisoners who are threatened with the death sentences, she said in an interview for GDR Radio. Millions of women all over the world are highly indignant at the state terrorism and the crimes by the ruling minority in South Africa, Mary Viri Tuominen added. The Israeli occupation authorities in the Gaza Strip... That's Radio Berlin. Now, much of their broadcasting was against the West. They would talk about West Germany, Great Britain, France, America. They would talk about propaganda or things that were negative about those countries as part of the regular broadcasting. That's just the way they were. Now, it would be unfair to say that both sides didn't jam signals that were sent directly into other areas. They both did that, all right? There's a great one coming up. This one's a more of a mix of a whole lot of different shortwave signals that used to be on the air but are no more for the most part. I hope you enjoy. It starts out with a station that broadcasts on the air still it's radio station knls now this is basically right at the top of alaska in the far northern part hope you enjoy this it starts there and it ends in tahiti a lot is in between i hope you enjoy the shortwave snippet coming up next <laughs> The 
This is Alaska calling. You're listening to station KNLS, Anchor Point, Alaska, United States of America. is AWR, Adventist World Radio. Welcome to the next four hours of transmission through the facilities of Radio Andorra on 6.22 megahertz in the 49 meter band shortwave. The Chimes of Radio Anguilla broadcasting from the Valley, Anguilla. This is the voice of Anguilla commencing another transmission. Radio Anguilla transmits on a frequency of 1,505 kilohertz with a power of 500 watts. From the Argentine Antarctic Territory, or land of San Martín, your friendly radio station, Radio Nacional Arcángel San Gabriel, is broadcasting. Radio Nacional Arcángel San Gabriel, la emisora más austral del mundo, difundimos nuestro espacio dedicado a esta zona helada. Broadcasting on 6.05 megahertz in the 49 meter band to Western Southern Africa. 9.60, 11.86, and 7.105 megahertz are also available. broadcast day. Here's a snippet from the old Radio Australia that was heard on shortwave.
Говорит Минск. Говорит Минск. Rádio Canção Nova, celebrando o novo milênio. ZYK 513 AM 1020 KHz. ZYG 868, onda tropical de 60 metros, 4825 KHz. ZYE 971, onda curta de 49 metros, 6105 KHz. ZYE 971, onda curta de 31 metros, 9 mil. Here's another station from behind the Iron Curtain in Bulgaria. Here's a station that has changed. It used to be called China Radio International. Now it's different. But notice again how it starts with music. This is how they signed on the air for shortwave broadcasting. China Radio International China were able to find out their local news through this broadcast. Here's one that still exists, Radio Havana. This is Radio Havana, Cuba. Another one that still exists, Radio Canada. is Radio Canada International, broadcasting to the South Pacific. Here's one that's unfortunately long gone. In terms of its shortwave directional broadcasts, and that's what I mean. Cypress Broadcasting Corporation no longer broadcasts to the world. Radiofonikon Idrima Kipru, Iorei Nexi. Metadidomen Epimeseon Kimaton, Mikus Tetrakosion Trianda Tesaron Metron, Isignatos Exakosion Eneninda Dio Hilio Kiklon Anadefteroleton. Dietin Briochin Lemesu Epimikus Kimatos Diakosion Dio Metron, Isignatitos Hilion Tetrakosion Ogdon Tetesaron Hilio Kiklon Anadefteroleton. Δια την περιοχή πάφου επί 327 μέτρων, η συχνότητος 917 χιλιοκύκλων αναδευτερόλεπτων. Και επί δοκιμαστικής βάσεως ΤΕΦΕΜ, η συχνότητα...
Here's another one from Behind the Iron Curtain, Radio Czechoslovakia. It was also known as Radio Prague. This Prong. is Radio Prague, Czechoslovakia. And notice they gave QSL cards. You are listening to the shortwave department of Radio Denmark, Copenhagen, Denmark. This is the first of three daily broadcasts to North America. You are tuned to frequency 15.165 megacycles in the 19 meters. Look at those directional antennas, my friends. Wow. こちらはアンデスの声です。南米赤道の国エクアドルの首都キトから日本向けに九点七一五メガヘルツ三十一メーターバンドと十一点八三五メガヘルツ二十五メーターバンドでお送りしております。これからの四十分は日本語番組です。
that were going at each other during the Cold War. Now, it's changed a lot since Russia became, I'm sorry, the Soviet Union became Russia. Well, back in the old days, it was tense. It was very tense. So let's take a look at a brief snippet of Radio Moscow. This is the North American service of Radio Moscow, broadcasting on 17 .7 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 15.4, 
The delegation carried out extensive work during its meetings and talks with administration officials and congressmen, as well as American public figures and businessmen. They clarified the Soviet Union's principal position on its relations with the United States and on major international problems, above all those of stopping the nuclear arms race and preventing the militarization of space. The Political Bureau called for furthering ties with the United States at various levels, the top legislative bodies included, to better understanding, promote mutually advantageous cooperation between the two countries, and to consolidate peace. There you go. That's Radio Moscow. And that's really a toned-down version of it. Back in the 70s, I can tell you from first-hand experience, it was a lot more negative towards the United States. This was towards the end of the Cold War. In fact, it was within three years of the fall of the Soviet Union when it became Russia. So that's part of the Cold War. The next clip I'm going to show you is the second to last. This is from Voice of America. Voice of America was similar to Radio Moscow. What they did was they would have transmitters, U.S., Turkey, they had them in Alaska, you know, which is part of the U.S., obviously. They had them in various areas beaming towards the Soviet Union and their satellite countries. Now, this is a very special clip. The reason why, it's the very first satellite it talks about in the newscast. And I want to apologize for the quality of the audio. It's not the clearest. So you may want to turn this up and... I hope it doesn't get too nasty audio-wise. But it talks about the first radio satellite just being sent up. This is from August of, of 1960, when President Eisenhower was still president. This is pretty cool. So, or maybe it was 59, I guess 59. Uh, but anyway, my point is, this is about the very first radio satellite. And look at how we use them today in ham radio. This is where it all began. Enjoy this special clip from the Voice of America from right around 1960. This is the Voice of America broadcasting in English. by the voice of America. First, the headline. The United States has sent a new satellite into orbit and recovered from the ocean a capsule from another. United Nations Secretary General Homichold has arrived in Katanga province in the Congo with 300 United Nations troops from Sweden. The new government of Sudan has announced its policy. And the National Assembly of the Korean Republic has elected a president for the nation. Those are the headlines, now details of these and other stories. There are two significant developments for the space age today. First, the United States put a gigantic balloon satellite called Echo-1 into orbit today, intended to pave the way for a worldwide radio communication system. And the satellite immediately demonstrated its value when it was used to bounce the signal carrying President Eisenhower's voice from coast to coast, from California on the west coast to New Jersey on the east. Here is the President's message. This is President Eisenhower's speech. President Eisenhower. 
hour. The balloon set aloft this morning is as high as a 10-story building, the largest satellite ever sent aloft. It is designed to prove the feasibility of using satellites for worldwide telephone, radio, and television systems. And it is expected to orbit the Earth once every two hours at an altitude of 1,500 kilometers or 1,000 miles. It was shot into orbit by a three-stage storable rocket from Cape Canaveral Park. Of even more significance was the recovery this morning of a capsule packed with instruments that was released from a discovery satellite put into orbit two days ago. It was the first known recovery of a satellite. And it was a key step toward bringing a man safely back from space. The capsule was ejected from a discovery satellite high over the Pacific Ocean. It was recovered undamaged some distance north of Honolulu by a diver lowered from a helicopter and is now being rushed to Hawaii for analysis of the complex feats from the board. That's Voice of America. And that's what's interesting. Again, sorry for the audio quality. It's just the way it was recorded. This was, I think, I think they had the date wrong on it. I believe it was 1959 because President Kennedy was inaugurated in 1960. So well, maybe, maybe it was 60. I don't know. But the point is, talks about the first radio satellite. Now, how's that? We have so many of them circling the Earth now that we make ham contacts on. It's just thought of as normal. But that was the very first one. And the first voice heard was President Eisenhower. That's kind of an interesting trivia question, isn't it? Well, that was Voice of America. So that was the Voice of America that beamed over to, you know, the Russian satellites as well as the rest of the world. Now, there's one that I had to get in the middle of this, and I apologize for it not airing sooner. I think this is the most interesting of all of them. This talks about Radio Free Europe. Now, Radio Free Europe existed to try and give news and music and entertainment to people who were not only in the Soviet Union, but the Soviet satellite company, uh, countries that were taken in World War II. Places like Poland and Romania and Czechoslovakia, you know, the places that were kind of swallowed into the Soviet Union, which became the Iron Curtain. Here was Voice of America back, I'm sorry, Radio Free Europe back in 1965 talking about their facilities. I took the segment on their transmitter capabilities, but this is a great video. If you have the opportunity, please watch it. The description section here on this video will have the link to this video. So I hope you enjoy it. It's my favorite one of the group, and it talks all about Radio Free Europe. But take a look at their transmitting facilities right now. Enjoy. A few miles outside of Munich is one of RFE's three transmitting stations. Altogether, there are 31 transmitters with a total power of over 2 million watts. This is Master Control, the heart of the Munich Studio Complex. From this panel, programs from 17 local studios and from reporters in the field are brought in to the Master Control console. Here the programs are controlled by the operators for level and quality and dispatched through the outgoing switch panel to RFB shortwave and medium wave broadcasting stations in Germany and Portugal. Our biggest transmitting station is located in Portugal, 50 miles northeast of Lisbon. Programs are radioed here from Munich and retransmitted behind the Iron Curtain in a fraction of a second. There are over 100 towers in this field of directional antennas that aim our programs at the target, as far as 2,500 miles away. The electric power required here would light 20,000 homes. A replica of RFE's symbol, the Freedom Bell.
That sound is a communist jammer at work, and this machine is recording the effect of jamming on RFE. The communists spend over a hundred million dollars a year jamming broadcasts from the West. Technicians listen to RFE signals and report daily on their strength and clarity. Jamming does interfere with some broadcasts, but over 90% of our programs get through to listeners. There you go. That was a little copy of shortwave, a little history of it. And it's really incomplete. Anything would be incomplete if you miss one. But, you know, there's some great stuff you can still find on shortwave. But the history is so rich. Gosh, it's so rich. Here's a great question. Okay. Uh, Ernest said this. And Ernest's call sign is Whiskey 3, Germany, Union, Yankee. And, and Ernest asks, talks about that vintage shortwave receiver. That is a Zenith transoceanic. Now, they made them for many, many years, and they're very collectible. However, they're also very attainable. You're talking three to 500 bucks, depending upon condition, currently in 2020. In fact, you can find many of them like new. I mean, there's a lot of them out there because Zenith made a ton of them. And gosh, do they sound great. I've had some. They're tube sets, and boy, do they sound great. So I'd really recommend, if you can find one, Ernest, please do so. Take a look online. Um, let's see, QTH sometimes has them, QRZ sometimes has them, or, of course, you can find them on the Vowel Bay station as well on the Internet. Good question as well that he asked. He talked about ham bands sharing short wave bands, and, and this is really big on especially 40 meters at night. You get to 7.2 and higher, you tend to get some short wave. Now, the majority of them, or the bulk, is really down around the 49 meter band, which is going to be between about 58, oh, about 5.8 megahertz, up to about 6.4. So right in that area, you'll find a ton of short wave broadcasters from around the world. And that's right about where Radio Habana still is. At about, uh, they're at 6,000. So at 6 kilohertz, you can usually find Radio Havana, Cuba. And they still do their thing. They still, you know, saying kind of propaganda against America and all that. Just like in the old days, but it used to come from Radio Moscow and all that. But it still does exist. They do have some great music and a good radio propagation show on Sunday nights as well. Hope you've enjoyed a little trip back down memory lane for shortwave. And for those that maybe are younger hams that maybe didn't grow up in the Cold War, it was a difficult time. It was an arms race of building more and more nuclear missiles to you know, have more than the other country. But thank God we're done with that. That's a really big deal. So we're grateful that part is behind us. But I hope you enjoyed a little bit of the history of shortwave radio. We'll try and do some more on it because it is a popular subject. Also, I'd like to do a night of medium wave DX. That's where I started back in 1973. We'll do that one night here from the West Coast. See what we can pick up DX-wise on the FTDX 101. Till next time, God bless you. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Ham Radio Live exists. And keep in mind, we ask you just to hit the subscribe bell icon. And that's it. Just subscribe and hit the bell icon. I don't monetize this channel. I don't know if you've noticed that. You don't see any ads here. This is my way of giving back to everybody else because I've been richly blessed in life. I don't need to be paid by putting ads on my channel. I do this because I want to do this and I want to make a positive difference for people. So I do hope you enjoy the content. You can help me out by hitting the subscribe button and clicking the bell icon. Until next time, thanks for watching Am Radio Live. It's been my pleasure and honor to host the show. Until next time. Goodbye, everybody.